Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Hobbit Village. So we're here again in Steel Pond, of course, a little hobbit town. So yeah, um, thanks for all of the kind of things that you guys were saying about it and everything like that. Um, so yes, the first thing we're going to do is actually name it. Actually, I need to make the do, 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 do. scale smaller of that text. There we go. How unprofessional. I haven't done one of these for a little while. It's been a couple of weeks anyway. Um, but anyway, there was one name which was Swaggins, and as soon as I read Swaggins, I just knew I had to. Now, where am I going to put this? I think we're going to have to take up a button. And, uh, what's his first name going to be? Lilbo. We're going to do Lilbo Swaggins is going to be living, living here. Uh, and yeah. Um, I also noticed a lot, a lot of you guys weren't really too happy about the ship, about having a ship for a Hobbit village, and I understand why. They're only small, but I don't know, it, it kind of makes sense that they would be like fishing and stuff even if they're just sitting here I can always see a hobbit sitting down right here for example just sat down and then actually he's fishing on the side you know I, I think I think I can see that pretty clearly so that's why I've done that and it's also just got a little ship maybe maybe they like trade with another hobbit like village over there and they can't be able to walk I don't know <laughs> something like that anyway um, but what we're gonna be doing today well we're gonna be building another hobbit house oh yes Another hobbit house. So, first thing I'm going to do is just put in a little path. I think probably, yeah, let's just do it really simple with um, a good old brush. So we're just going to mask two, and two is of course grass. And then we're just going to do a brush sphere of 13 and two. Yeah, two, something like that. Let's going to do it nice and simple. Oh my god, that's massive. Okay, I'm not going to do that. One. One. That's not right, that looks massive. What have I done wrong? Actually, yeah, it does make sense, actually. 13 and 1. Eh, and 1. What does that mean? Oh, okay, that doesn't mean anything. Oh, well. Well, this will do, I guess. I'll just do a really... Scrape. See, that? this looks correct. Ah, uh, so it's a cost of cost, of cost there. So anyway, there's going to be a path, basically, going up here. That's what I'm trying to get at. There'll be a path going right through this tree. God damn it. There. And this will go... God damn tree. In the way, I have got a little bit of lag today, guys. I'm actually uploading at the same time, which is never good if you're on a server. Um, so we're going to go up here, and then that will go on through. At like, this point, we're going to actually have little hobbit houses on top as well. That's my plan. Um, yes, hobbits do have the proper houses. Uh, they're quite cool. I know that Nick Goss has been building them on the server as well for his his type of stuff. Uh, but we're just going to have a path going down, probably down here. We can have some more. What would we have? What would we have there anyway? I don't know. Maybe we'll have it going this way instead. So, come on. There we go. Come on. I'll have it going this way. It'll appear eventually. <laughs> so, as long as I keep on clicking, and then eventually we will have a bridge. So I might ask you guys if uh, want the bridge to do be done kind of like this. Well, next episode or something. You guys could tell me if you want a bridge or if you want more of the interior stuff. There we go. That gives us a rough path. Yeah, it's pretty horrible. Um, but it, it gives us a path, I think, and it gives us a somewhere to actually start off and make sure that we don't you know, whack into. Uh, now I'm going to be doing the Hobbit House in a different style than I did the first one. So I've learned quite a lot from doing this one here. So if I just mm, grab this, I'm just going to use a replacer tool instead, and maybe just shove this into here. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's a horrible path, isn't it? But yeah, that path's going to be going there. We're going to build a nice little house in here. And we'll probably bring the hill forwards again. Like we did on this one, we actually had to uh, bring it forwards. So we'll do that if we just clear down the materials. Let's, let's grab some materials. So we're probably going to need that. I kind of like these. The barrels just look good for it. Um, this time, well, we won't go with yellow. What will we go with? Ooh. Now, there's obviously sand. That can work if we want a yellowish one. Uh, that's a bit brighter. Probably quite an interesting one. But I think... Probably white stained clay. Now I know there's clean versions of these in biomes as well now. Uh, so I need to find out which biomes those are. But maybe we'll try that and then we'll see. I'll have a play after after this episode to see what we've got. Uh, but my idea is let's let's actually do it down here. That's what we'll do. We'll grab some brick as well. I'm actually gonna use brick. Um because it looks kinda cool with uh Hobbit stuff. Plan is that I'm gonna have for example one side of the house here. Right in the middle, we're going to have a basically a little uh, chimney, right in that point. And then on the other side, we're just going to have the normal house as well. So it'll probably be something like this scale-wise, I guess. 
And then we'll have like an entrance on this side. You'll go in, uh, go down a little corridor. And that's what I'm planning on doing with this one. I'm going to have a really good strong corridor which everything comes off onto. And then you could walk into here which has the living room, kitchens and smoking rooms and all that kind of stuff. That's my plan anyway. Uh, let's get rid of this tree. I, mean, I know I could do the mask thing and kill it for the... Uh, something about just punching stuff, isn't there? So it's enjoyable. So yeah, I, I'm, I think that's what I'm going to do. That's my plan in my head. Which is better than I had before. For that one, I didn't have a plan at all. This one has a plan. Excellent. So, the door is going to be on this side because there's a path. And where are we going to put it? Where are we going to put it, Jeff? Uh, I think we're going to have to do it here. So if we go up again, and... I know that some people as well were saying, you know, this one's quite big. Uh, it, it's just that we get really cool roofs and things. Oh, no. Okay, well, I just timed out. That was good. And I'm, I'm, I'm over here now. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's what I was saying, or trying to say. Um, I know that people were saying that this one was too big, but I really like the roof, like playing around the roofs and things. I just think it's cool. I think I had the different type of wood, didn't I, last time? Jesus, it's, it's been a while since I've done one of these. But yeah, that's cool. Uh, so I, I am thinking about, you know, still having it this big. I, I don't know, I like it. I like it big. I don't, I don't want it small. And you also don't get as much circularness, I think. So, anyway, the style... Um, God, I've lost where I was cutting out, that's fine. I think probably around here. Four. And then we're just going to go one, two, three for the time being. And what do we want for the entrance? I think I want a circular entrance, and I want it with colour. I've seen that used quite a lot, and I know that uh, people on the server that also do Hobbit Houses do that. So, how are we going to do this? I think we're going to have to Let's usually have wool in here at this point. Let's just cut through this. And have like a free door, like that like this, and then have it going around it. So then it comes out. So when we actually have the roof... God, there we go. Let's grab... Uh, I don't want to have the same roof. But I, I think I have to. It's the Conquest jungle. I don't like it anymore. It's too, uh... jungly. Hmm, I'm going to have to go with oak. I think I'm going to have to go with oak. The oak is a very good one anyway. I don't know why I got rid of that one, I just realised. I'm going to grab that again. I'll shove that right at the end so I know that it's separate. Grab our stairs. Grab our slabs. Not not redstone ore. That's not a slab. Despite what people believe. Uh, there we go. So we'll have something like this. And maybe like that. And then it'll go here. How are we going to do this? Right, if we had... if we just, Let's just put in these for the time being. I think probably the best thing to do is have this one to be... Either a double or forwards of, of the rest of them. So that might, this might be here and then we might have... Yeah, let's have one on the side. Let's do that. That's a good idea. So it's there and then it'll go onto the side and go back or whatever. So that makes it actually circular on this point. Yeah, let's go for a really circular one. It's like, like it goes in here. Then we'll have the middle bit. And we might actually need to pull it forward so it gets part of this hill. Yeah, let's pull it forwards as well. There we go. Changing it all. So this is the one thing about the initial planning bit. It always bit nuts and yes so if this is going to be the corridor we might actually need it to be let's think about this if this is going to be a corridor where the house goes kind of want to have rooms on this side as well don't we so with that in mind let's whack this all the way over here let's whack the door over there and then we can actually have bits of it going around here as well yeah yeah as you can see i haven't done one of these for a while so it's going to be a little bit sketchy but i'll get back into it and with you guys' suggestions as well it always helps me as well. Um, you must say as well a lot. Not good. Alright, so blue. Blue wool. Right here. Like that. And then we'll have the these bits around. Like that as well. And that's when I've completely already forgotten that this has moved forwards. So we'll have this move forwards. that there, and I can always go over the top or, or whatever I decide to do of it. Uh, let's get rid of some of this long, long grass. Good God, there's loads of it. Put that in there, okay. Then, barrels in these points. Uh, this will obviously be cut down a bit, I think, because we'll have this bit here, and even maybe even wrap these around like this. Seen that done quite a few times as well. Um, if you would just go over that. Oh, not in there dirt back. Have that there, or wrap these around. Oh my god, that looks like mega, doesn't it? That's massive. Uh, that's fine. 
Oh, wait, we don't need the slabs on that, that's why. Okay, so if we had, like, for example, this. And that raised up. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It looks kind of... The good thing about this, whatever, whatever I've just started doing, kind of looks, um... Not too bad. I think I might even do this, so it makes it look... Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and then I have seen this, and then Nick Goss was playing around with this idea. Doing them on those bits. And around, maybe. Let's make it all start. I don't know. Maybe not there, but to make these bits look more rounded. On the sides. Yeah, we'll try it out. Um, now what we're going to do is have one going this way. And that will go pretty much just back. So wherever that goes, it'll just go back. <laughs> and it'll have the white stained clay in it. So shove that in there. To wherever. Doesn't matter. I'm not even thinking about it. Might even then move it out as well. So actually that will be moved out. So all of this I've just put down means nothing. This will go down in a straight line. That's what I've got to think about. I think, yeah, that's the most important thing. Let's get this sorted. So to make it interesting roof-wise, we could go five wide uh, for the actual walkway down. It would probably, for a Hobbit home, only be three wide, and then you'd have those you know, bits that you get around here that you, I've seen on the interior type ones. You have like that. I think that's going to be a bit too small for what I want to do. I think probably continuing this wall going back like this. Going back here. Like that. And then having those on both sides. So if we put these in. That will mean that we only have three wide. Alright, we're going with that. See, I'm, I'm thinking and going completely the opposite way. So we'll have like a corridor going down here. Uh, I will find out the clean version of this as well, definitely. Because we need a clean version. And then every so often you get these kind of door type things that go in like this. Which will then go onto the sides. I think that's going to be a lot nicer. We can of course put in you know, like these logs going down here. And then attach them in like this. Or on those bits. So that's my idea anyway, just have that this central corridor, this will go down, uh, and this will go to the side for the smoking room, which I think we'll start working on next. I mean, we've, I've just put in this wall here just so that we've got a rough idea. I think probably it'd be more smart to do this side, but um, I think that the chimney type area is going to be more, more important. I actually want this to come forwards even more, so now I was planning on going back, but I think having like this, and here, ooh, that look good actually. Does it? Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. So that's something like that, and then it goes across. Yeah, let's try this out then. We'll probably have one, two, three, four, and five, like really big. And then have one, two, three, maybe. Like this this will be this is where my big chimney idea was coming from. So there's a big chimney that will go up. Like from that that point. I might just do this for the time being. Put that in. And take this out. God damn it. That's the only thing about Hobbit houses. I dig everything out. There we go. So that was, that's where the chimney will be. So then we have this central corridor. Let's go nuts on this. Yeah. Um, and again, I could use world edit, but I think it's a good time to talk as well. So I think from here, it would be a really nice thing to actually walk through like a doorway, like here. Well, we need some cupboards. We need some cupboards somewhere. So whether I do something different with this, where I curve it in uh, instead like I've done here, and then see if I can get a cupboard space or something where it goes out, maybe. Or even just do something like this, and then do then have a pole there. Let's try this one out. So we've got a type pole there. So it has that on the side, uh, and then this will obviously wrap around and everything. Yeah, I think I'll do something like that. That gives me a cupboard right here, because I can uh, obviously do stuff like this. And then that'll be the straight wall. So you can see the wall there. Um, that wall is actually not quite, no way near big enough, is it? Unless we have the pantry in here. So that could be the little cupboard for food. So we have like a little cupboard for, you know, your coat. And then you have the pantry here, which is where you get all the food. But no, I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, this is why I'm, I'm going to go back to this side. <laughs> oh, God. So difficult, isn't it? So there... Than that. Uh, it won't be as obviously sticking out as much as that, like I've done there. So I think I'll, for the time being, I'll do like this. 
have that. Maybe not blue for the for the circular bit. The green. Very. I think green is quite a hobbit colour. And probably not do the floor as well. I don't know why I put the wool in the floor. So we'll have something like this. I'll, I'll sort of switch that one out for the time being. Let's put that in there. It uh, currently looks very strange. It doesn't look anywhere near as nice as that one. But yeah, I got this. Get around. Okay, now well, let's let's try. So we can do here. So I do like stuff like that. So it shows a little bit of the wood. I'm not having the blocks there. Okay, so I have something like this. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So something like that, maybe. Maybe just like that, and then have these on. Uh, I don't have too many of those. Uh, let's make these a bit too much, doesn't it? Uh, we can always have flowers wrapped around. I'm not sure yet on those. I'm really not sure. That does mean that then this this will look less pushed out. Um, but still, let's let's just get the basics done. So having here a big kind of area. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, and probably yes, six. So six. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's interesting. I think I probably want to do the same one here with this feature. Makes it makes it one more wide. It also means that we get a really nice big kind of area. And then at the back of this, I think I'll have the uh, kind of dining area uh, in a separate room. And then off the side to that, we can have the kitchen. And that works. I think that does work. So yeah, this will be like the that that area. <laughs> yes, very good. Uh, Probably want at least one of these, and then here, this will be that the one that we have, and have it going there. And we'll have the circular bit going in here, like this. So it's there, it's there, it's there. So then you get kind of go in at the door, and then you can go down this way, which goes into this. Yeah, that looks good. And then we can actually have this back wall we'll go across. So this is this is a nice way of actually building it, I think. I think it works quite nicely. I might even, now I've got these little bits like this, I might do that here as well. So I actually get this. So it's like this weird shaped room. More small circular. I don't know, I'm going to try that. Let's try it. So where's this one here? So we normally have that, and this is me trying to be even again. Everything. I have one of those, it goes into there. So there, and then this will be the back wall. And in this back wall, there'll be a um, another circular bit. But I think that circular bit will be just normal. I, I don't think I'll put anything onto it. Or I might even make it really wide. Like this, it's very open. Like that. And this will probably have enough space. Let's get into the, the deep bit of the hill. That should go open then. So you have like the living room in here. Um, books and things, and then back in here you have a dining room. You know, maybe it's connected. I mean, I could even have it as a separate room that goes down here. And you can see here, that that's what I was saying when uh, it blocks it up. So I could have it as a separate room, or I could have it as normal. But I'm not sure yet. I think I probably want a room off here, going into the hill maybe? Yeah, because we're supposed to still have another side here. Um, so that one actually gets knocked back anyway to here, and then we have this part. So, to keep it kind of roughly even, I might have a 5 in this bit. For that bit. There, so that keeps it a little bit wider on this side, which is good. So, so there. Right. <laughs> and then we're going to have to cut out a lot of this hill. Uh, a lot of the Hobbit hills do look like they've been pushed back, pushed the hills back quite a lot uh, to, to make room for the gardens and things. Um, but it's just so that we get a nice space, and then we can actually collapse it later. It's a lot easier to work with um, over at the end, I guess. Anyway, let's have a look at that. Right, so then we have this. Now, I've got to think about all the rooms we need. We're going to need loads. We could have things like smoking rooms. Um, so maybe this could be a smoking room, which could have another chimney on it. Maybe. Uh, but for the time being, let's just get this outside bit. So we went with a slab here. Those bits, and then stairs wrapped around this entire bit. They went that way, didn't they? 
we go that way? Yeah, they actually did go weird sideways bit. Okay, that's fine. So I get there, and then drive across to there. So I can just do, I don't know, something like slabs or something. Just run these bits to go to the end. And then figure out what we want to do, and if we want to push the hill right up to it. That'll be good. There. Okay. Now obviously there'll be windows on these bits. We can even have windows here, can we? If, for example, this fireplace went uh, right to this bit, so it was a little bit smaller. We want windows in there? Maybe? Maybe if this is the fireplace? It's our little living room. Um, I guess so, wouldn't we? Yeah, 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 just yeah. And I've got some there, which do fit in perfectly. So if we extend this bit out even more, oh man, this is massive compared to that house that we did before. It's actually pretty big, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. Well, then that will go into this room. So if we just, oh, I don't really need to cut it from the top, do I? As long as I cut down here and find the wall eventually. Um, I'll just do a little bit more of this, guys, and then we'll end it for the episode. Because uh, I don't want to make these too long. I want to make them around about the 20 minute mark. I think we've gone over. But Hobbit Houses. It's good to get in the flow of them. It's good to get back to them, actually. I miss making them. Right, okay, so this would be. I've got another little room. That's cool. That's in here. So we've got the dining room back there, that means we can have behind this room the kitchen, possibly. So maybe the dining room goes back quite a bit. How have we got this set up? So we've got that there. I might even do what I've done here with that block. I think this is kind of like a little theme through some bits anyway. Right to, to there. Right going there, and then have on this side. Sorry if you guys can't see that well, it's because I'm cramped into this bit and oh no. Uh, so maybe what I'll do after this episode might cut out bits. But if we go for just this, this, and this, and this, then have the typical little joiny bit. Then that can go to the back of this room, and whether we want to just you know kind of cut this room as well in the same place or not, we can then decide and then have like a little maybe like this can be the kitchen. You know, just have it like this. Have a really small, smallish kitchen, I think. And then that'll go into the dining room that will be here. That makes sense, and then that can all tie into this corridor. <laughs> Even this, though this goes off. So this is a lot bigger than the other one. So if I just make this wall go back a little bit. And I remember saying about this wall, didn't I? So maybe we'll do another one of these. And then go up to here, and then that'll be the way the wall goes. There we go. It's a nice little, nice bit of shape. So this is completely different than the modular design I tried before. Uh, I think it'll work better, maybe. So that gives us actually quite a nice cupboard space if we go for... So we're going to have to go for there, for the cupboard bit, so we might as well go across to this point. Which gave us no more space. Uh, yeah, okay, we're going to keep that one then. Yeah. Nice little cupboard. Um, some sort of room here. I don't know what this could be. Could be a bedroom, like a spare bedroom or something. Because then we can have a window right there. Mm hmm. Cool. Um, I'll just have those solid for now. Uh, obviously, if we push the hill back. No, we don't want to push the hill back any anymore on that bit. We're going to get a weird little shaped <laughs> place. <laughs> I think. Alright, before we finish, let's just make this look, look a little bit better with the brick. Let's just get our brick. That was it. Brick stairs. With our brick slabs, wherever they are. And I got a block of brick. Okay, so if we did something as simple as this, just to probably knock that down actually. Maybe something as simple like that, and then something, I don't know. Let's try and make it look a little bit interesting. Uh, I think I'll probably make it look wonky at some point. Because that always looks good for, for Hobbit stuff, especially. Uh, you know, like I did those chimneys. Because um, we're doing something a little bit different on our. Let's see if we can do something a little bit different. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I don't know at the minute. 
And let's let's finish this off with windows. So we did white before? Did we do white before? Yeah, we did white before. Let's go for something else then. Uh, I have been addicted to the yellow ones, so I'm going to try and stay away from those. Maybe it's like blue or something. Well, then again, it's got green. So we could look at blue. That always works. Uh, that might be a little bit too bright. Let's have a look at the green ones that we've got. Now, we've got the lime one is like bottles. Doesn't quite fit here. Oh, like very green. So why why we make a green themed house? I don't know. Maybe. What I do know is that I don't quite like this bit down here. I want to have this open. And then we can have a raised up flower bed. So I can't stop building. I, I should have stopped by now. Can't stop. I have a raised flower bed there. Something like that. Maybe. And then we can put in a block, full block there. Um, but I think that's it for the episode, guys. Uh, tell me what you think so far. All your suggestions are always, well, as always, uh, more than welcome. Also, tell me about the style of me uh, setting this out. You know, it was completely different from what, how I did that one, which was very modular, very... Well, just very modular. This one's going to be huge, but I think will be more hoppity, and it will probably go quite far into the into the actual hill, I think. I think we might as well make, like, a, I don't know, a, a big family one. Um... Yeah, what was it? Lil Lil What's the name? What do we even call this guy? Lilbo Swaggins. Lilbo Swaggins from me and Lilbo Swaggins at Still Pond. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.